Okay, here I have imported a trading image. It's Ash from Pokemon. Just something simple, it's not too complex. Uh, I'll show you how to trace him without making some quite easy mistakes. Now the first mistake when tracing around this is to think that you should trace it exactly as it is. Like this, just going around everything there is. Now that's not a very good way to trace it. The best way to trace it is to um, do it as if it was your own character. When you make your own character, you start off with the head. You don't start off with the hair. So you just draw around. So if there we have the head, and we can add the ears. And the hat on top. So you're not just outlining everything, you're drawing as if you could see everything. So you see if you could see the whole of his head or the whole of his ear. So you don't have to worry about going round things. All you need to worry about is making sure that it forms complete shapes. So even if they overlap, it doesn't matter, because remember, we're colouring them in. So the overlappings will be hidden. Another thing to do, don't join up different uh, shapes. So you notice here, I didn't just join the hair to the hat. I made two separate points. Because once you start joining shapes, you start selecting stuff that you don't want when you're trying to colour in. Just make sure here that I'm only going to connect the hat to the hat. Not connect the hat to the head. So everything is movable. Now when you're tracing you'll find often you'll have large groups of things that you might want to select all at once. What you could do is go to select points once you've got them all selected and let's just call this hat and create. Now, any time we want to move the hat, all we need to do is select the group, hat, and move it. Right. Almost finished with the face, and we'll just leave it there.
You notice that I'm leaving the uh, sharpening tool afterwards. I just feel it's quicker if you're not constantly swapping between tools. You can do the, all the sharpening at once. Okay, just do the eyes now. When you're tracing, you might find that your um, picture isn't high quality enough, so you'll need to actually remember uh, how the thing looks for the more high quality bits. Okay, now we can start to colour in. We'll get rid of the tracing image. Uh, Tracing image, uh, turn it off at view, show tracing image. Now I'll just make the head bigger. There we go. And we can import it for the side for reference still. So there we go. 